Salaam from Makkah to Medina, the second day of uh, February 2023. The topic of our today's khutbah is going to discuss the best personalities after the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Peace and blessings, uh, all praises belong to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Peace and blessings of Allah be upon the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All you Muslims, you are witness that we have discussed uh, individual members of Khulafa Rashidun, Abu Bakr, Umar, Ali, uh, Uthman and Ali. Today we are discussing the uh, superiority of all the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam being the best personalities after messengers of Allah and his prophets. We are discussing those who have been chosen by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and honor them with the companionship of the best creation of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, our messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Those who are the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, may Allah be pleased with them. Uh, the history of this world had never witnessed personalities like them. No personalities who walk on top of this soil like them after messengers of Allah and his prophets. All you Muslims, scholars have defined who a Sahabi is. So many definitions are there. One of them is the definition given by Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani, who said that the most authentic definition I take is that a companion of the Prophet is he who met the Prophet while being a believer and died as a Muslim. This include he whose company with the Prophet was for a long period of time and he whose company was for a short while. Whether he reported a hadith from the Prophet or not, whether he participated in a battle with the Prophet or not, he who saw the Prophet even for a while, even if he was not able to sit with the Prophet he who have not seen the Prophet because of a barrier, like those who were blind, but they were Muslims, they witnessed the time of the Prophet they died as Muslims, they, are, they form part of the companions of the Prophet All you Muslims, certainly Allah and his messenger purify these personalities from all evils. He accepted their repentance and he is pleased with them and they are pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Verses in the glorious Quran in this regard are many. Some of them, the saying of the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that certainly Allah the Most High has favored the believers as he sent from within them a messenger who used to recite and rehearse for them the ayat, the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and purifying them and teaching them the book that is the scripture, the Quran and hikmah, meaning the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu uh, perhaps before his coming they were in manifest error. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah has purified, pu prepared for them Jannat, uh, paradise beneath which rivers flow. This is indeed greatest of attainment. In a hadith, the Prophet uh, in a hadith reported by Bukhari and Muslim, the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said, the best generation is my generation. Then followed by the generation that came after it, followed by the subsequent generation. Scholars mention why was the generation of the Prophet and those who came, that came after him were the best generations? Because number one, they believed in the Prophet when people, the whole world disbelieved in the Messenger they declared that the Prophet came with truth when the whole world belied the Prophet. Number three, they honored the Prophet when others harmed him. They assisted, that is number four, the Prophet. Number five, they accommodated the Prophet. Number six, they assisted him with their wealth and also they sacrificed their lives. They also uh, fought jihad along with the Prophet and made people to enter Islam. Again, another thing that indicates that those personalities were the greatest, great personalities in this world is the saying of Abdullah ibn Mas'ud that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala screened the hearts of all his creatures. In the end, he chose Muhammad as the best of them. And he sent him with the message. And he, he, he gave him knowledge to come and teach people. Thereafter, Allah the Most High screened the whole world and chose the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu to be his lieutenants and his assistants, his assistants 
in promoting the cause of uh, this, uh, this deen. All you Muslims, certainly insulting a companion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is a great act of, act of wretchedness and an open, a clear sign of a one person being an enemy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and His Messenger. In a hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam warned that fear Allah, you should fear Allah concerning the honor of my companions. Do not take them as a target of insult and humiliation. Whosoever loves them, it is because of the love he has for me that he loves the companions. Whosoever hates them, it is the hatred he has for me that extends to my own companions. So also, he says, whosoever harmed them has, uh, uh, has indeed harmed me. And whoever harmed me has harmed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whoever harms Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will seize him with his punishment. In another hadith, Abu Huraira said, the Prophet said that, do not insult my companions. I swear by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if any of you should be wealthy, extremely wealthy, and to spend in gold as huge as the mountain of Uhud, wallahi, the reward he's going to get will not match a mudu or half mudu that a companion gave as a sadaqah. This is because of what? Because of so many reasons mentioned by Imam Nawawi. He said because, number one, the time they spent was the time of serious need. Number two, there was abject poverty. Number three, that their assistance was meant to support and protect the Prophet Sallallahu which you do not have now. It has, that door has been closed. Whatever you are going to do is just to give sadaqah, to promote the cause of Islam, but not to protect the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then, again, due to the consideration of their hearts, their affection, their love, humility, and the heart they poured together with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Al Imam Nawawi concluded that the virtue of being a companion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even if it was for a moment, cannot be matched with any good deeds that one can do this time around and can never be achieved through anything. Such was indeed special favor which Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala grants to whom he wishes and he granted such to the, to the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All you Muslims, it is compulsory for us to honor the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to respect them because uh, we must as well give them their right. We should uh, never talk bad against any of them. They were those who safeguard the Quran and Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi and extended them to us. They were those who imparted da'wah to everywhere across the globe. They left their houses and migrated in order to preach Islam. They endured difficulties and hardship and attacks of their enemies in order to extend Islam to us. They sacrificed their life and all that they had in order to assist the cause of Islam. Abu Zaid al-Qairawani said that uh, one must believe that the best generation is that of the Prophet, was that of the Prophet Sallallahu followed by two other generations that came after them. And the best personalities were the Khulafa al-Rashidun, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali. And then uh, one should never mention any of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu except through goodness, and one should shut his mouth a case of what happened transpired between them of a misunderstanding. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with the companions of the Prophet sallallahu May Allah enable us to copy them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gather us together in paradise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring about stability, peace, and stability in our dear nation. Uh, the issue of Naira redesign is ongoing. People are uh, suffering, though we thank the federal government for extending the time of a uh, uh, considering the old notes as uh, non-existent uh, 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 legal tender. However, there is need for us to still stress that people are indeed, great, is indeed, great, uh, indeed experiencing great suffering. Uh, people are trading and doing business with these old notes. Go to POS, go to wherever, and request that you need 10,000 and see the charge you are going to pay. So we are still calling that uh, something should be done urgently Though we know that things are being done, 
but things should be done, more things should be done in order to stabilize the condition. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.